Declan, why don't you start with yourself if there's any bit of a squad update. First round, Sam Monaghan, if she's available for selection this weekend, and then if there's any other players who are carrying knocks in the weekend. Hey, Neil. Um, uh, Sam's good to go. So she's passed all the relevant protocols she's needed to do. She's she's training, um, and uh, yeah, it's good good to be working with her. She's an important part of the team in terms of our line out and stuff. So she, like I said, yeah, she's she's good to go. And then off off the back of the weekend, obviously, what was a pretty physical encounter. The, the obviously the girls are a little uh, battered and bruised, but they're uh, they're all good to go. What has the review from the weekend thrown up both in terms of positives and things to work on? I look, the, the, the positives here are for me look to is the probably the effort and the work rate and, and the intent we showed. Um, and then from a review point of view, look we've 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 look we've had a good look at ourselves, what we could do, what we could control better. Um, and uh, we've, we've spoke with the girls and you know, things like stopping driving tries. There's there's probably not allowing teams to get that, that field position, but then also then just little things around system. Um, when you come under a little bit of pressure, where you're meant to be, how you can stop it. So there's been been some good discussions for and backs. Um, yeah, but that probably be one area that look we we can we can challenge ourselves to be better there. And look, obviously we know Italy Italy are going to come with potentially with a drive as well. So we ha we have to be ready for that. And need for yourself. Defence was something that was kind of praised after the weekend, and as usual, you were well up there with the tackle count again, 23 or something like that. What is it that you're enjoying about this defensive system that you had and that you have at the moment, and what kind of tweaks have been made over the last few months? Yeah, listen, I think, you know, defence went really well at the weekend. Dex come in and done a great job giving us a system. I think we've all taken to it like a duck to water, so that's been really good. And coming off the back of WXV, we only let League One try, so I think that was really positive. We've just continued to grow on that since then. and. Um, hopefully continue to do so for the next few weeks. What is it about tackling you seem to enjoy something? It's just a bit of crack, isn't it, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, no, it just, I don't know, it just kind of comes, comes naturally to me and it's something I enjoy, so, um, yeah, it's going well. Thanks. Declan, I'll jump in here at Wilfie Virgin. Um, do you think this progress being made with this team now uh, as we get into this competition? Uh, hey, Will. Um, yeah, for me, look, I'm only... Um, what am I here now? Six, six, seven weeks. Um, I've seen a massive step up from from the first week I was here and, and getting to meet the girls. And they're obviously out playing in the in the Celtic League, and then eventually getting them into camp. Um, and I can see the the progress that's that's happening. Um, you can see that in training. Training's obviously we want, and Scott wants training to be incredibly competitive because we know if we can can compete with each other in training and, and drive the standards there that. You probably then start to see performances like you did at the weekend, um, but there's still, and, and maybe this, you know, you can see it, but half glass full, half glass empty. But there's, there's still of a, a long way to go. Um, but isn't that the nice thing that you've got? You've got, you're not where you're not at the end. You you can see that, and, and it is it is if we continue to uh, grow the all our game because it isn't just about defence. You know, if the attack becomes better, then that takes the pressure off the defence to set piece. So it's. It's all marrying up the, the the different areas so that we, uh, I suppose, you get an all-round performance that you know you can you can put out at the weekend and you're proud of. Me, just for you, do you think that this side now is a better team than what lost to Italy last year? This time last year, I think it's a different team. You know, we've got loads of new girls coming in. We've got new coaching and management, that kind of thing, have all um, played a part. And I think you know we're continuing to grow week on week. Um, and we're pushing each other, as you said, as the attack gets better, the defence also has to get better in training. So as we push each side of the, the game, we're just going to grow as a team and get better and better. And do you think a win, a victory, would be a huge lift and huge progress for this team to get out of the rut that you've kind of been? Because with every team, when you're consistently losing, it just has a, a massive negative effect. And obviously a win would have the exact opposite. Well, like we came out of WXV having gone three from three, so I think that's really positive, and the girls there really relished in that environment, and we've continued to grow that culture. Um, and then last week, I know it was a loss, but we had so many positives to take from it that we're just going to take those and lead into Italy this week um, off the back of that. Thank you. Anyone else? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, few players spoke at the weekend about loving defending, as we were saying earlier as well. Was that important for you? Before you came into this job, preparing to work with this team, that you would come with a system that players would be enthusiastic about and want to really 
make a strength for it? Um, look, it's it's. I, I think what what I've I've got to know the group. I, I uh, they're a, they're a real mix, which is the the beauty of any group. I think I've I've you know I've enjoyed working with them. There's a lot of you know a couple of young players, a couple of older players. Um, but I think in any defensive system, um, and probably any maybe I'm starting to experience a bit more. Just there, you know, you pull on that you pull on that jersey. You've got to you got to. It doesn't really matter what area of the game you've 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 got to throw yourself into it. Now, obviously, for some defence, probably comes a little easier. This this move beside me, you know, 20, 20 plus tackles. But for others, it's um, and they're all different. It's probably how do I how do I dial that up for some who you know. It, I'm not saying it doesn't mean as much, but express that importance, what it means to the team. Um, and like I said, I've had a had a real buy-in from the group, but then at the same time, I've, I've probably made a real effort to get to know them um, individually as well. So I can, you know, uh, I don't want to say grow, but you know, you get to you get to know them a little bit better. So you can go, uh, you can ha you can have those interactions, and maybe then they start to potentially care. About what is it's an important area, but it's it's not the only area. It's, the the defence is merely a part of a performance at the weekend. Like I said, I'm, I take as much pride in what we did on attack, but I set piece. Um, obviously, defence is my area, and and, and obviously I, I care about that. But at the same time, I'd I'd love for us to be uh, all all round at the weekend, um, if that makes sense. Uh, Richard, John, just take the Final live question, then we'll move into plenty of bargot. Oh, you're fine. Sorry, any more live or we move on to bargot? Yeah. Uh, Neves, Italy came within two points of getting WXV1 promotion last time. They're obviously quite a, a free attacking side. Are you ready to take the games from this weekend, or will you have more of a pragmatic defensive approach a la France last weekend? Yeah, listen, like Italy are a very exciting side. They like to keep the ball alive. Um, so I think that's really exciting for us to be able to challenge our defence. Like we went up against France last week and I think we put in a really good defensive shift. So we'll bring what we've done against France with a few tweaks that we've done this week and go into Italy. And I think it'll be very exciting to see their kind of keeping ball alive attack against our defence, which we're just going to keep growing it.